Hey guys, in this video we want to talk about loud pounding pulse rate. Here you are trying to sleep and you got this, this pulse rate that's so loud in your ear, it interferes with your ability to rest and go to bed at night. You should never hear your pulse rate ever on the pillow when you're sleeping. And that basically is a simple potassium deficiency. That's all it is. And uh, we need a lot of potassium. Potassium seems to be the physiological tranquilizer. It relaxes the heart and the pulse rate. Um, so the way you become deficient is by having too much glucose or sugar. Okay, so that would be all the candies and cookies and things like that. Not to mention the, the other carbs, refined carbs, breads and pasta and cereal. Anything that involves refined grains, okay, that would be creating the same situation. But if you're consuming a food, let's say uh, cane sugar, and it, which naturally comes with a lot of potassium, like if you're, you're chewing on sugar cane, you'll never have this problem. But white sugar, you will, because it doesn't have any potassium and it'll just suck out the potassium. Um, okay, and then stress can also deplete your potassium. A lot of stress, uh, so even shock to the body. Uh, I remember um, having an accident. I fell off my bike over the handlebars and landed in the cement because the chain fell off. It was a defect in the bike and I fell on my elbow, crushed it, had tremendous amount of trauma in a very short period of time my potassium levels just went right down to nothing. I mean, it was crazy. So uh, that adrenaline, that stress can just drop your potassium levels. Then insulin, uh, that can come from, again, from consuming sugars, or let's say you're diabetic and you're taking insulin, that can deplete your potassium levels right there. Uh, so that's one other source, and that could be why your heart is pounding. And then um, also uh, diet. Let's say you're just not consuming enough of the foods with potassium. You need about four, actually you need about seven to ten cups of vegetable per day to get your potassium, like 4,700 milligrams. Uh, if you have rheumatoid arthritis or some other arthritic type thing, you might need up to five to six thousand milligrams, okay? Uh, even if you go through stress, you need a little bit more. But the foods that are highest in potassium are beet tops, avocados, leafy greens, okay? Those are the the top, and you just need to start consuming those. So um, if you have this situation, go ahead and get some potassium, either from a supplement or from food, and let us know how that affect your, uh, your pulse rate. Thanks for watching. So press the subscribe button, and this is misspelled, so I can't spell. So I'm gonna have to add that in here. Okay, take two. Press the subscribe button, and I, I can't even say this. Um...